Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about Takia. Takia is a text-to-speech software and as I have talked in other videos that you can search on my channel, there are different text-to-speech software available online I'm doing special speech hello, my own text-to-speech software at tts.parrasacarlos.com and I couldn't miss the opportunity to check out Takia and when you honestly, here is a tip if you're planning to buy Takia, you can search this website and sometimes they do have some social ads on different channels such as Facebook or Instagram where they offer some lifetime one-time payment so you can actually get the standard plan for around $67 more or less and also for an upsell that they have you can get the enterprise plan for around $100 or in case that you just want to try it for a monthly basis when you can get the subscription models and the difference between the standard that's the one that i got is that it has fewer voices compared to the enterprise plan and also that you can in the enterprise plan you can get the commercial rights so if you're planning to use the text-to-speech audio for you for any client customer or any advertising purposes for your own then you might need to have the enterprise plan the probably advantage or main difference between Taki and other text-to-speech software is that you can actually download once that you have bought the Takia software you can get you will get an email so that you download the, the actual software so that you can install it in your computer so in case that you want that type of software that you can actually have probably this could be a better option so let's try here how it looks the software and honestly it has a really good user interface in my opinion in comparison to other ones it's probably a little more friendly here you can actually add some delays and also emphasis according to the voices that you choose here you can type your text another good thing since from the standard plan you can actually create translation directly here so in case that you want to create voices in other language, you can also do it. Another good thing that I will be showing here in the video is how to add and modify the, the voice with background music. So that's a really good thing. So going straight forward to the languages and voices, here you can see the different voices that you can access. Takia uses the technology of Google WaveNet and Amazon Poly. The WaveNet and standard, the difference is that the WaveNet is basically improved through artificial intelligence. So honestly, I do recommend better to use the WaveNet voices since the standard are still robotic and you will have to use some improvements of the emphasis here. Also, as you can see here in this right the third column here you will see the name of the countries so as in difference with other text-to-speech software that it's mainly defined by languages here it's you can check by countries so another thing like let's listen this preview this is a preview of my voice using the tokia software and something that I will think I will recommend to talk yet is to change the previews since you can have probably if, if you know a little bit of German the the background voice sounds quite of more German of like a German talking in English so that's more of on that way so it will be better to have the previews on their language or it's in sentences on their languages so we have here the English languages so we have from australia the uk india and united states also if we check it down here in the amazon poly there will be some options that you can have here for example this one you can have some joke voices so in case that you want to use like this children's voice it's a good thing here on Tokyo. They have a more emphasis on the child voices. So let's listen to this one. 
This is a preview of my voice using the Takia software. And honestly, like for the kids' voice, uh, I think Takia has a good one. I will do in in some other video. I will do the direct comparison between Takia speech and my text to speech software. So here we have the filters. So if you want to go directly to let's say for Spanish voices, we can just select apply. We select Spain and then we only have here one voice in the standard version. So let's listen also. This is a preview of my voice using the Talkia software. <laughs> and honestly, that's the funny thing that it has like that Spanish on that English. So it, that's the thing that, as I said, it will be changed. So we also have female voices. I will do some tests using also let's United States. So let's try out with Sydney. Let's do a preview. This is a preview of my voice using the Takia software. Honestly, I, I find it okay. So let's apply it. And And I will just add a delay. Honestly, this emphasis, I haven't noticed that much differences. Let's listen. Hi, I am Sydney. I am 30 years old. This is a text to speech software. Now, Leslie, in this voice, I find it okay. We can do also some changes here. But too much speed probably will be the like this, this squirrel voices. And with a louder pitch, it will totally change the intonation. Hi, I am Sydney. I am 30 years old. So you can try around and see what fits best for your voice. And there are there many options. Could be longer this video if we test out each and single voice but for some voices I find it okay for some others as I mentioned it's probably a very robotic let's test out the translate text so we have it here in English and let's try out Spanish you just click out directly and let's look for a Spanish voice in Amazon we only have the standard voice here on the basic plan so let's listen this one hola soy Sydney tengo 30 años de edad and yeah it's probably a little bit more robotic so let's try another one that it's WaveNet. Let's see on the German side. So let's search for German. And let's listen. Hallo, ich bin Sydney. Ich bin 30 Jahre alt. And yes, I do. Of course, we have the German voice, probably a little bit robotic, but it was really simple to do that translation and just changing the voice. Also, let's say that after we are fine, we can either export the file or also we can add it to the timeline so that we can create here probably a longer audio for a podcast or any other use. And we can add also some background music. So let's say this portrait, we can just insert and we will have this audio. Hallo, ich bin Sydney. Ich bin 30 Jahre alt. And then you can include some more voice here. So basically this is Tokyo. It's an 
good text-to-speech software. Of course, you can get access to more voices and to have to more WaveNet voices in the enterprise plan. So it will be a matter of fact of deciding if this type of software is the one that you need. Some other examples are, as I previously mentioned, Speechelo and my own text-to-speech software. I will leave the links down below in the description so that you can check both of them. If you have some questions or more comments, please write down. Thanks for watching.